yes thank you thank you everyone thank you thank you we're on here again yes 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you we're back today and we have a of course we've been covering a lot a lot of um episode if you've missed um the ones we've covered before please you need to catch up you need to catch up thank you hit promo lovelies thank you everyone today we are having the second episode for your next you know i think is your second favorite show which is seven uh, sorry sorry four letter g four g's you shouldn't um you shouldn't take for granted you know you should never take for granted you should cherish them you should honor them we've talked about four before which was the gone the god the gods and the government if you've missed that that's one is on episode one now we're on episode two to talk about the next four the next four the next four thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so before we start today, let's just pray. Let's come in the show into the God's hands. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, everlasting King of Kings. Thank you, Omnipotent. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, Hosanna. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you praises. We give you adoration. Before we come to you, we say this episode, we come in this show unto your herbal hands. Father, we pray to your holy name that ain't nobody that listening to this message, oh Lord God, Father, let this message change their lives. Let them have a good impact. Let them have something meaningful. Let them have something that will change their life, oh Lord God. Let their heart desires be granted. Let them see light in these messages. Let these messages heal them. Let it turn their heart, those ones that are looking for babies, those ones that are looking for financial breakthrough. Oh Lord God, the moment they're listening to this message, or as soon as your message is soaked in, as you have led, Father, let your word prevail. Let your word prevail. You said, if Jesus Christ walked in water, oh Lord God, your word will prevail. If he, he will be God that answered by fire, let that God be our God. Thank you, Omnipotent. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yes, we are back again for the next episode which obviously we've done the episode one before we've done the one before we're back again thank you thank you thank you guys thank you thank you yeah i like that i like that when you give a hand of applause it's good it's good you know keep it still moving on yes now people this episode we have today is four later g's you should always respect never to dare them at all cost we're on episode two and with this show, we've got we've got loads of downloads concerning this show, <laughs> and we're trying to like quick. You know, we've done episode one and two for dreams and interpretation. If you miss on that shows, please get on there, search them. You will get dreams and interpretation episode two came out recently, and we've also done seven things you should never share to anyone seven things you should never share it to anyone seven things you should keep secret we've done episode one and episode two on that is also going up out very very good in fact that's the highest download of the shows we've got so far now the second one which is this we have we sorry we were meant to cover this before but with dreams and interpretations i was led with the holy spirit and that message is it felt like a lot of people needed to hear that you know so many people needed to know so many things because dreams is so important god speak to us through dreams and you take our dream life serious and we had to cover that now i'm grateful i'm glad i give god the thanks 
honestly guys god has been grateful to me personally i have a huge testimonies a lot in fact just a few days ago i prayed for god for a few things i just prayed you know i said god i want these within two three days and god answered this prayers and you see this is the the mighty the mighty um um, answers when you when you call the name of God and you put your trust your faith you know five is a number of uh, grace stands for faith and obviously these words these four words that are, we've brought out today that are covering episode two they are they are huge ones please these messages they're not coming from me they're coming from heaven I want you all. I'm not here to speak to Christians. I'm not here to speak to Muslims. I'm not here to speak to scientists. I'm here to speak to everyone. All of you. We are one. We are all one. Now, I keep repeating this because the Holy Spirit that communicated with me, that showed me things, it never said all religion should be one. No. If you go to church and your pastor tells you, oh, we don't want certain religions in our church, you have to live there. That's not the right pastor. I have to be honest to you guys. I'm standing here for truth, for light. You see, that's why I never say to you, I'm a pastor or I'm a bishop. No, I don't want those titles. I just want to tell you the truth. So let's go back to four letter G's. This four letters, uh, I wanted to mention the four before, before starting each one. And I said, no, let him, let's just keep them private as we go on. Please get your book, like we always say, get your pen. You have to write down. There are loads of things you have to write down because the first letter G is guarding, guarding, guarding. <laughs> guarding, guarding. You know what's a guarding? It's, it's spelled in G A R D E N. That's the only word that carries six letters. Guarding. Now, the other three ones that I'm going to talk about. They spelled in five letters, you know, the next one is in five, you know, and then the third one, five, the fourth one, also five. Now, only guarding is six. Now, that's why I need to speak about guarding first. Guarding is G, it starts with G, letter G, please. The word guarding, I'm looking for an opportunity. And then the Holy Spirit said, oh, this is where you have to talk about this now and may the world understand what is going on. Understand, let them know what is out there when it comes to the word garden. Garden, garden. Let me explain what garden is. A garden is an area of land, usually outside, where plants flowers vegetables or herbs are cultivated now gardens can serve various purposes and their benefits extend beyond just aesthetic appeal yet are some common types of gardens and their associated benefits exactly so i want to go deeper with the garden one now i'll talk about gardens types of gardens and also talk about their benefit now the first one for me is a vegetable garden vegetable garden we're talking about you know what vegetable gardens are they provide sustainable source for fresh homegrown produce encourages a diet rich in fruits and vegetables and then you talk about the second one for me we talk about flower garden Flower garden, what are the benefits? They enhance visual appeal and provides a relaxing and enjoyable space. The well-being that promotes mental health and reduces stress. Now, you go to the third one for me, the herb garden. The benefit obviously offers a convenient and cost-effective source of fresh herbs for cooking. It enhances the flavor of dishes and encourages um, culinary exper exper experimentation. Now, medicinal garden. Medicinal garden. Cultivate plants with healing properties for medicinal purposes. Provides natural remedies for common ailments. Then, 
we go to the six number six garden which is a community garden the community garden benefit fosters a sense of community and promote shared responsibility for the environment it encourages interaction among community members and promotes teamwork now the wildlife garden wildlife garden attracts and support local wildlife such as birds butterflies and beneficial insects you know and then obviously the biodiversity it contributes the conservation of native species now the cerulescape the cerulescape garden when you talk about the cerulescape garden now this focus on water efficient landscaping and the drought tolerant plants the environmental use it reduces water consumption and promotes sustainability now the therapeutic garden when it comes to the therapeutic garden which is the last one because i just brought out eight gardens i want to talk about this is the, you know obviously the therapeutic one designed for rehabilitation for t and therapy offering a calming and healing environment you know then the wellness obviously support physical mental and emotional well-being so now you can see everyone that i've talked about these eight gardens that i've listed here and also i've also written them out because we want to try and elaborate and explain more and obviously bring them out people can read you can get on our youtube on other um um platform so you can read them all out and you can not just only listen to me you can elaborate them on on them yourself now why i want to talk about these guidance because they all have their own benefit but don't get me wrong let me remind you there are different types of gardens you see you have different types of gardens. there are more gardens you have tropical gardens we have water gardens we have english gardens we have french gardens we have chinese gardens we have the um cottage gardens you know we, we have the japanese gardens we have the rock gardens we have the german gardens we have the woodland gardens so now remember i've just told you what um teaching you about which is these my eight gardens that i've given to you which are the vegetable garden the flower garden the herb garden the medicinal garden the community garden the wildlife garden the cerescape garden and therapeutic garden so these are the eight i've just um explained to you and i'll explain why you shouldn't um you shouldn't um, dare with your garden you should always respect them always respect your garden in addition to this specific benefit gardening you know gardening as a whole is known to promote physical activity you know enhance your mood you know you know you know that's what gardens are and you know co connect your individual with nature also garden obviously can provide you opportunity for learning for creativity and a deeper appreciation of the environment gardening can be a fulfilling and rewarding activity you know activities with numerous positive effects on both individuals and communities so garden is very important now why you should always respect these gardens the flowers the trees the herbs, the vegetables. These are creatures from God. You call yourself a Christian, you call yourself a Muslim, you call yourself a scientist, you call yourself a Buddhist, you have what you're worshipping. You also realize these herbs, these trees, and these vegetables, the all in the garden, they obviously been created by someone. If you can agree to that now if that's the truth why haven't you sat down to ask yourself how are you treating them are you being fair to them are you respecting them are you speaking on them are you peeing on them <laughs> you know you know please 
excuse me to say this, I remember back then, those days, even up to now, in certain countries, in Africa, trees, gardens, you see people urinating on them, spitting on them, you know, gossiping, you know, saying things bad about them, treating these trees, this veg, this herbs in, in a very harsh and we don't know the benefits. We don't know why God created them. That's why I am here to teach you. Because this herbs, these vegetables, the trees, the leaves, these are humans. Just like you and I have got life, we've got, we can breathe, we can eat, we can move, we can speak, we can, we can hear, you know. They also do the same thing. I need you to understand. And that's why I'm going, you know, because with Christians, Christians sometimes find it very difficult to believe things like this. And I'm not going to go to the Bible and also show a part in the Bible where it says it there. When Jesus Christ was teaching his disciples, we will go there soon. You know, this garden garden you don't play with garden please you have to always respect your garden at all costs never you go out to your garden and speak you 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 speak you throw um your poor day or uh, just treat your garden rough you are killing yourself those of you having gardens in your house and your gardens then looking good this problems obviously this is what is it is what you're creating for yourself hindrances bad lucks setbacks because the gardens the leaves the trees trees <laughs> these are humans these are humans and this is the reason why you have to be good on it God is giving you a chance now to be on planet. Why not make good use of it? Be good. Because when you depart from this world, when you depart from this life, when you depart, when your body goes. Now, your body obviously goes to the ground. I've talked about this before. When you go where your body goes, where your soul goes, and where your spirit goes, it's free in one as a human, you have body, you have soul, and you have a spirit. They all go different places, and your pastors don't know these things. Why am I saying this? I'm having debate. I'm having questions with pastors, men of God, and they are feeling it. When I ask them these questions, they do not know it. I'm ashamed of, for them. So please, I'm coming out here. Yeah, you are not taking me serious because I do not have a church. I said to Holy Spirit, I said, God, I don't need a church. I know a church is your bride. Do they've, they've, they, 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 they see what they're doing to your house? You see, have a platform and teach my people. When they listen to your word, just them listening, their lives will change. If you listen to my word, your life will change. If you take my advice, your life will change. If I lay hands on you, your life will change. Because I know what I carry for God. These herbs are real. They have times when they wake up. They have times when they go to sleep. I need you to know that these are humans living in them. Now, when you see these celebrities, you see these politicians, you see these um, bigwig, you see these, um, you know, you know, those important people in the society. And when they passed away, they obviously, after so many years, they, they beg God, God, please, we want to come back to, to this earth. We, want, we, we miss the world. We want to come back to this world. How can we get back? There is a way out. There is a way you obviously will come back. And then when they talk about incarnation, yeah, it is real. Now, when you're coming back now, because this is where this helps, this garden, this is why you shouldn't play with your garden. When you're coming back, God asks you now. You was on earth, isn't it? You'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, God will play you what you've done. When you've done how you treated humans, 
And God will also play you how you treated animals. Animals. <laughs> animals, you see. God showed you how you treated garden, the fruits, the herbs, the vegetables, the trees, the leaves. He left the garden for mankind. What did he do to them? And then, and then when God sees, okay, he, you what you've done to these trees and herbs, he, 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 there's nothing to to return about. Now he looked about what you've done to humans. Now it is times too worst. And God will be like, alright, you want to come back? He make you one of the trees. Now you become a mango tree, or you become a guava tree. You become um um what you call it? A, a tomato, onions, any veg. And then the humans start using you now, not realizing that um, vegetable they eating or whatever fruit, that's someone that lived before. But because of the way they've lived their life and they came back and God made them that. This is deep, very deep. I need you to send my messages. Please, guys, share anytime you see my messages out there. Endeavor, please, I'm begging you, share these messages out there. Let people listen to them. The more they listen, the better for you and I. I'm telling you, I'm on the first G now. We're still talking about guiding. Imagine we still haven't finished guiding. We're on more than 20, 20 minutes now. Please. You have to spread it. You go on our YouTube, search for hit promo, Mr. Capish OJO on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. We always make this podcast available there. So obviously it reach out to more people. And then we get them um, um, on other platforms, on radios as well. Please try and share those messages let someone listen to them they might treat their garden well they might get to understand that these herbs these vegetables they all have many i've talked about the benefit of onions onions you cut onions onions you put onions it touches your eyes you start crying for onions why aren't you respecting that fruit so these are the things I'm trying to enlighten you with. These are the things I'm trying to just impact you, you guys. I was praying. I said, God, your people, I don't know if they're taking my messages serious. The Holy Spirit said, what? The Holy Spirit said, you forgot what you saw in the realm of the Spirit. What you did, I say, wow, that was. I say, yeah, I can't, I can't forget. Now I'm gonna the other the third episode is coming because I will say more about that. You guys haven't even listened to my I have experience. I need to talk, tell you you lot about experience I had with Lucifer. I need to tell you experience I had with um um. Well, you know this queen of the coast, this the boy you people call my water. Yes, I had experience with them. I fought them. They came and they, they will come and test you. You cannot say you, you see, I tell you, it's two things. You either hear it from God or you hear it from Satan. It's two things. So those that are saying they hear it from God and they're using the name of God, Satan will visit them. Those that are saying they hear it from Satan, whichever way, they get visited. And now and sit and they fight themselves because they're looking for powers. They're just looking for domination. They just try to dominate. But you can never dominate God's power. The name Jesus Christ, principalities, rulers of darkness, they all bow down. They bow down. You can imagine me. <laughs> I'm fighting with principalities, rulers of darkness. The ancient date is like familiar spirit. Spirit that my ancestors couldn't face, they came, they came and attacked me. You see why? Because obviously they've seen so many people that has been in bondage, and how God will use me to free them. Just these messages that we're putting out there. If <laughs> soon we will obviously bring up people's testimonies, messages, and you know if we have permission to, to do that, we will, we will do that, you see what people are saying, people are getting free just listening to these messages, please take them serious, 
you know, the more messages we get, then I get to realize God, God is working. Do not play with your garden, please. Please take them very serious. If you're the type that urinate, you out there, you go out, you 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 tipsy, you just want to urinate on flowers, stop it. You just want to spit at them, stop it. Your saliva, your saliva, you you your saliva is powerful. You've got powers in your saliva, and you spit right there. You don't even know the spirit that I've taken it. I've talked I've talked about this before. We've got alien beings. We've got. Sp- spirit beings we've got dwarf beings we've got animal beings we've got vegetable beings we've got we've got different types of beings i'm being honest to you guys why because i see these in the spiritual realm the order in the realm of the spirit your pastors your prophets your apostles your evangelists your teachers they should be seeing these too they all know what I'm saying. And some of you have got this gift. Some of you do see this thing. Some of you know what I'm saying. Some of you should go out there and enlighten the world. Teach them the truth. Teach them the light. You know, please, that's the first G for me. You see, we went very deep with that. We went very deep with that. So if you want to live a good life, you want to leave this world and you want to come back, you want to come back to this world again. And I tell you, how do you come back to this world? First of all, you have to be good. You have to be good human. You have to treat every human right. That's why you politicians, you leaders, you um, celebrities, you treating people very mean, you will pay for it. You will pay for it because you obviously will get to your last day everyone will leave this planet you never sat down and asked yourself what will become of you when you leave these are my questions i want you to to just you know get your your nice um expensive champagne you know just relax and chill and um, and think about what this teacher is, is is teaching you know, I'm just asking, you just ask yourself questions like you probably, you know, done your will, you know, done, told your family how you want your funeral to be. But then you've not asked yourself where your body, your soul, your spirit, they're all going when you leave. In the certain things, you're going to be tormented. You haven't realized these things. And then it gets to like 50, 100 years. You start asking God, you want to return back to air. And then God will be like, well, how did you treat the world when you left? You treated them bad. Now you're going to be, um, uh, what you call it, a chicken. And you're probably going to be, um, I don't know, different types of animals out there. Dove, birds, they're insects. You can imagine being an ant. These are spirits. Treat them right. Treat them right. Show them love. If you do these things spiritually, naturally, your life will change. You don't even need no one to pray for you. That's you. You don't need to pray now. You see, doing things like doing this thing, treating them right. You don't need to pray. You don't need no man of God. And spirit will respect you. So that's the first um, G for us. So I believe we've... You know, went deep in that and showed more light. And then the second G, the second G for me is graft. 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 When we talk about graft, I'm not talking about grafting where you move um, surgical procedures f- from one tissue to another. So, no, I'm, not talk- I'm talking about graft in business. And I'm also talking about graft in government. Graft in business. In, in business. Now you know graft that the accusation of money, power, or advantages through dishonest or unfair means. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously, especially is especially in politics. In politics, graft. This is what I mean. This G is G R A F T. G R A F T. Grafts, graft, graft in government. Graft, as understood in American English, I'm reading from Google now. What it says, Google says, graft said is a form of political corruption defined as the 
unscrupulous use of politicians' authority for personal gain. Political graft occurs when funds intended for public projects are intentionally misdirected in order to maximize the benefit to private interests. <laughs> this one, this one for me, I know this word, I don't know, some of you don't, is it kind of like a word, I, I don't know if it's a familiar word, I don't know if it's a word that you, you often see a lot, graft, you come across this word like that all the time, I don't know, <laughs> but now Mr. Capiccio J. O. obviously will talk about this now, this word, you see this topic, this episode, we, we, we've been planning to do. I had this episode, this topic done for like three days and we couldn't we couldn't cover it. But then um I had something with praying and I was in spiritual battles and God saw us out and two nights I prayed and the Holy Spirit woke me up and then last night I told my manager um, we're doing episode three for dreams and interpretation. Episode three on that. If they already get in the flyers ready, and then I also said they asked me what other what episode we want to cover. I said um episode three, four, seven things you shouldn't share, and they said all right the flyers also. But I said we we're back with with these um four letters we haven't done the episode two yet, and we need a flyer for that, and we need to cover that. You know, and I left the my um project. I left my graft. I said this draft should just be there. And then I slept last night. I was sleeping, sleeping in my room. My 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 first son, my first son was sleeping with me in my bed. And he got to twelve. He refused to sleep. We prayed. After praying, and then he slept. I think I was even the one that slept first. We eventually slept and then I, I woke up at about one and I looked at him, he's sleeping. I said, okay, all right, that's good. And then I went back to sleep now. When I went back to sleep, I slept to three, to three, four. And then after that, I woke up and the Holy Spirit woke me up. And the Holy Spirit woke me up. I said to myself, well, what are we going to do this time? I felt like, you know, normally when the Holy Spirit wakes me up, I'm thinking, okay, I need to pray. There's something, you know, I've been calling to, to attention to pray now, something like that. And this time around, it wasn't. It was like, no, the message you, you, you left on the draft, you need to cover. You need to go out there and, and tell my people, about this four letter G. There are things you will cover in those um topics that someone need to listen to. And I was like, okay. 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 Since I need to work, it's not it's not um okay, it's not um, for me to pray now. It's for me to you know get my files all ready and see how we can get to the studios for work. I said, okay. And it's Sunday. I said, wow. So we well, God. And God speak. You have to do it. And then, so all right. And that's how I said, okay, let me get ready. Start getting ready. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we are trying now to cover this, this episode. And this second word, graft, G-R-A-F-T actually brought tears out of my eyes because this word is deep. I don't know how you all will relate to it when I start. It's very deep because it connects to the government. It connects to power. It connects to accusation of money, it connects to advantage through dishonest, unfair means. You know, now let me start from when you talk about business, please. Don't dare with this. Don't take this word for granted. 
Don't be unfair to your business partners. Don't be dishonest to your business partners. This is the word graft for you. I'm talking to you now. Because it will affect you in one way. It will come back to you. It will come back to you. So many people, they've done that to me in business. And I tell you, they have no clue. It wasn't me they dealt with. They dealt with God. If they're Christian, they dealt with God. Or everything they're worshipping, they dealt with God. So be very, very honest when it comes to your business, accusations of money, power. Don't. What do you want power for? The last time when I talked about Christ is bleeding on our shows about Christ is bleeding, there's a lot coming on that. And I was attacked. Yes. This was like 10 months ago. Let me stop. <laughs> Guys, you have to take me serious. I will also explain why you will have to. You know, they came and they, they attacked. Why? They wanted to find out what, what I was saying if it was true. And they confirmed that it was true. You see? Please, don't, you don't need to be dishonest. You don't need to be unfair when it comes to business. It will come back to you. Now, when it comes to graft in government, government, oh my God, people are suffering. The public, you know, when you know, politicians, you see, <laughs> the thing is, please, let me before I start, because when it comes to government, please, guys, politicians, I respect them. I respect them. You know, let's give a hand of applause to our politicians. Let's give a hand of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I respect them. Now, <laughs> with the politicians, you know, you can be in politics. There is something they call an oath. Now, when this, with these politicians, first of all, let me speak to the public. Public, when it comes to politics, these politicians, they have oaths to their parties. Now, when they're in power, they have to abide to those oaths they've been to. That's why you see... You can see a good man not acting good in office. Why? Because he or she, they've taken an oath that they have to abide to before, because that power, they, 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 sit, they sit in, they never, it's not something that they marry. They just got it through by knowing someone, through by appointment, just it's not something that if you really want to say, okay, is that position for them? No, it's not. And now when they get in there, they have to abide to this. Oh, they have to have this Godfatherism. They have to have this person they look up to. They have to pay homage to. They have to bow down to. They have to serve. You are not serving the people anymore. See, this is why the politics game is very, very um, dangerous. And this is the reason why I also respect them. It takes guts. It takes guts. It takes braveness to get into politics. So please, you have to respect them now. These are for my public. Politicians, I'm, I wept when it, when it came to this. And then the, the, my guardian angel said to me, good. And guardian angel was like, good, good. Now you can hit. You can, you can, you can nail the, you can hit the nail with what is being on there, what you want to talk about, what I want you to tell the world. Because politicians, please, I am begging you. I have no voice. I am nobody. I am just Mr. Capiche. Oh, sorry, John Ubebo. I am no one without you guys. All I can use my little voice. Wisdom, knowledge from God is to plead. Plead. Because you, you as a leader, 
you as a leader, a, you being in the political office as a leader, you have a lot. You have a lot to give out. When you leave your seat tomorrow, don't you want your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren to be remembered for something good? Don't you want your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren to be remembered for something that stands for truth? Don't you want your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren to be remembered for something that stands for light? Why are politicians out there just for themselves, for their family, for their political parties, for their communities? Why? Now people are suffering. The masses are suffering. Innocent citizens are suffering. They don't even know who to vote for anymore. Because you vote for A, A turns to be to be D, you vote for D, D turns to be A. You don't know where to go anymore. All I can just say is, is, that's why I'm begging you guys, please share our podcast, share my messages. You don't know where these messages will hit. You don't know where these messages will go to. Imagine we just started this podcast less than two months. Less than two months, we hit more, more than a hundred downloads within less than a month. On our YouTube, less than a year, we've been on it. it we've, hit more than 2,000 subscribers. Guys, please, more than 35,000 views on there. Please, guys, you have to continue share our messages. You don't know where these messages will hit. You don't know who will listen to and it will change them. You might have a politician in your community, in your country, doing something not right, and they listen to our messages from God they start doing something good now. That's it. You don't need them to call you. you. I don't need them to call me. They just listen and they start changing their ways. That is what God wants. You don't need to argue. You don't need to fight people. Do something right. Always remember, in as much you are into politics, remember you have a soul. You have body. And you have a spirit. When you leave this planet, you leave this world, you will not answer to your political party. Your political party A, your political party B, I don't like calling names. Also, when I spoke about Christ was bleeding, I never called no men of God name. But guess what? They came, your men of God, the false ones, they came to me in the spiritual realm. They came and fought me. And if I'm not for light, if I'm not for God, I won't sit here and continue these messages. I probably won't see these days. This is why I'm telling you guys, please take my messages serious. So when you politicians, when you leave, you're not going to be answering to your parties. Do the right things. Now, to the world leaders, to the countries, there are Europe countries, they're suffering, Africans are suffering, Asian countries, go to North America, go to South America, go to uh, African countries. People are dying and living in abject poverty. We've got politicians there not doing the right thing. I wept when it comes to grafts. Graft, do not play with this word. This word graft is not something you need to joke with. My political people, please, I am pleading. I have no strength. I have no power. I have no voice. My power is just from God. My voice is just from God. My strength is just from God. God said, say it. They were listening. Tell them. I said, okay, okay. Like I said before, if it was left for me, I would be in the mule thing. I would, I, would, I would be enjoying myself. I would be clubbing. I was in the world before when God said to me, live there and speak to me. He isolated me out of, out of the world completely. 
Now, when I come here and say things like this, I can tell, I can see why the Holy Spirit wants to use these messages to transform someone's life. Please, the politicians, I'm begging you, I'm pleading, please. Just sit down, think about those that are left, that did, that wants our past presidents, governors, um, senators, ministers that are no more. I just, I wish you can see them. Some are in heaven, some are their soul is weeping. The soul is weeping. Their soul is being tormented. You and I still have this opportunity right now to change things, to make the wrong to right. To try and correct things. This is the time. Lead your community right. Show love. Do the right thing. You are appointed to lead. You've been given certain budget. Use that to do something great in your country. My country, people are suffering there. You have talents everywhere. They can't find this talent. My community, people are suffering there. Look at the world right now. Please, I'm begging. And then when it comes to, you see, you see, now, when it comes to World Bank, World Bank, this is a message. If I don't know, I don't know, somehow out there, do you, you all have to pray for me. World Bank. If you know there are politicians out there doing things no right, you know, looting money, stealing and embezzling um, the public funds, call them out. Bring their funds out. These are the grafts we're talking about. These are the grafts they should not joke with, they shouldn't take for granted, they should take it serious. Bring these people out. Let this money go to the public. Help them. Help them, help these people. People are dying. Countries are living in abject poverty. And then you get one politician just enriching his or herself. Now, I know pastors, uh, they're happy. I'm not speaking about them now. Yes, and that's when the Holy Spirit said to me, this is where I want you to speak to the political parties. Party A, party B, party C, party D. I'm in no party. My party is God party. If you want to be in my party, God's party. I'm not going into politics. If you put me in politics, you will hate me. You're going to hate me. Because you have to first of all go and read about my history. My late father. What he stood for, for truth, light. So you put me in politics, <laughs> I'm going to confess you all. I'm going to do the things for the people, for the public. I'm sorry. So there are certain people you can have in politics. And now when you know these people will be good, why you try to take them out of power and then you bring in the scumbag, you bring in the, 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 the lunatics, you bring in the, 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 the scallywags, you bring in the, 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 the miscreants. Why? Why you play these games and what happened to the society? You have an evil, you have a mean, harsh, terrible society, community living. What situations going on around everywhere? Why? Because we are allowing one person to benefit for what everyone should have been benefiting from we are allowing one person to enrich themselves and you also citizens you also public that are in support that are siding those people you should also have yourselves to be blamed and ashamed you need to help yourselves only the truth only the truth will help you I repeat only the truth. Now, that's the second G for us. And I believe we've um, also elaborated and spoke more about graphs now. Now, the third G, <laughs> the third G, 
the third G you should never you should never play with you should never take for granted greed greed greediness G R E E D greed five letter words greed greed you all know what greed is obviously greed and intense and a selfish desire for wealth power and possessions you see when we talk about greed it still goes with um, um where we where we're just coming from from graft now when we talk about greed is more deeper than that because when we talk about greed we're not talking about you we're not talking about me we're not talking about everyone because we are at some point even in my life at some point we are we 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 greed we, we we've got greediness in our in our in our in our in our genes we have to accept that now how do we help ourselves by understanding accepting it realizing it and figuring out to come out from this greed it's not good being greedy Greed, because one was greedy, they lost their treasures. Because one was greedy, they lost their light. Because of greediness, people are not getting justice. Greed, desire for wealth desire for power they mostly desire for possessions people are so greedy so greedy to the extent they rather want to see their neighbors their brothers their sisters suffering dying without no sympathy because of greed and the Holy Spirit said, you have to talk about this greed. It's a G for you. It's a G. And what is a G? That's why I'm saying I'm not speaking to Christians alone. I'm not speaking to Muslims alone. I'm not speaking to scientists. I'm not speaking to um, Buddhists. I'm speaking to everyone, please. Because what religion is going to tell me they're not experiencing this word greed? Stop it. Stop being greed that little g you should always respect never to dare that word at all costs greed greed has you know because of greediness a lot of people lost so many things you know because of greed greed had brought shame and unclean spirit to people's lives to generations greed destroyed generations upon generations upon generations upon generations upon do you and i tell you guys there are families that are being they're getting deliverance why because their generation started it out of greed greed selfish desire for wealth never you have a selfish desire for wealth why am I saying this? Why am I saying this? Why am I saying this? I myself, I was in that rope before. In 2000 and, um, 2005, two, from 2004, 2005, 2006. Imagine me, my life now. From 2000, my mother, my mother came to my life, I think, in the year 2000. Yeah, yeah, 2000, 2001, something like that. My mother came into my life. Now, when it got to 2004, 5, 6, I'm, I'm already thinking what you people call this ritual. Yes. This is why you have to take my word serious, please, everyone. Rituals, yes. You see? So you see where I'm coming from. Greed. I was greedy. Greedy, and then eventually, you now when you when, you, when we talk about rituals, you know, back then, there's in Africa, you use a chicken, you use gold, but then these rituals never worked, it never worked 
This is why there are so many stories you have to listen to. You see, my book is out there. God is waiting, waiting. I'm just waiting from heaven's when to be, to be launched. So you guys will hear and know where I am coming from. These are great testimonies what I'm teaching you guys. I remember 2000 that year, 2005-06, when I tried that. The tradition, the 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 herbalist, what they call this African tradition, tradition um, doctors, native doctors, he's after staying in his house, he, he took our chicken, <laughs> he took our goat, he took our fish, he took our money. He never told us it won't work. After he taking all of that, and then the third day he then said, "Oh, this won't work." We asked him why. He said, "One of us is a chosen one." And he didn't stop there. He said, one of you is a chosen one, not just only a chosen one. This person's energy is greater than his. And then my other two friends, I'm glad they're still alive now, they, they went like, who, who, who among them? They said, me. He particularly pointed me. And me, a young man, you know, desire for money, desire for where I, I was carried away. I, I felt like, God, why am I cost? It, it, it didn't work. And I felt like, oh, maybe my father had prayed too much. My father had uh, allowed these things not to work. Because I, my father used to tell us, used to tell me those days, listen, my son, my father would be like, my son, if you go and do a voodoo, do a, anything that is called charm, that is evil, it will never work on you. And if they do it on you, it will never work. So that, I grew up with that, you know, as a reverend son, a, you know, a pastor's son. My father was a bishop. So I felt like... Like, okay, so when I when it got to that time, finding myself doing that, and then the traditional herbalist man telling me this, saying to my other two friends and me that this will not work because one of you is a chosen one. So I felt like, okay, maybe that's what my father said. That's why my, it's my father that has done it. I never had this knowledge that what he made, the chosen one, was from God. I never knew. You can imagine it took me another 20 years. <laughs> It took me another almost 20, 15 years before I realized. You see how long this hand can use you? <laughs> My people, you need to wake up and listen to me, please. I've warned you so many times. Don't take my words for granted. If you do, you know you have demons inside you. Anyone that take my words for granted, know you have demons inside you that do not want you to listen to these words because if you do you will come out from that problem you find in yourself i have friends i have siblings i have business partners some are very close to me some are not close to me the ones that are close to me are fair enough the ones that are not close to me their demons don't want them to be close to me why because i will reveal to them what their problems are this is what is going on. And imagine me at that time, 2004, 5, looking for well at this, at this time. I never understood nothing. I knew nothing about what was going on. And it didn't work. That's why you need to wait for my book so you read and see and, and get more light about these things that i'm saying so greed you see that's greed now i've just shared my own testimony why just because of this word greed this is something you all never knew about me now obviously you've heard a bit from me and there's a lot imagine my book is volume one one two three to four now and we're just waiting for the you know the go ahead from god and we will launch it and uh, like I said, there's so many things inside, so many testimonies, confessions, they're all in it, you know. And then greed, please greed. Because of greed, oh my God, you guys do not understand. Oh, look at what happened to Joseph. Joseph and the Bible, the family sold him out because of greed. Look at Jesus Christ. Jesus was sold because of greed. That's why I want to stop there. Yes. Because of greed. So please, 
take that G very, very serious, you know. Do not have greed in your heart. Do not. Do not. Because you do not need it. You do not need it. Please. So, that's the third one. Now, the last one, which is a very deep one. The last one. The last G for me will go to grave. 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 <laughs> you all know what grave is. Grave. G-R-A-V-E. Another five letter words. I told you guys the last three letter G words are five letter words when you spell them. Grave. Now, what is a grave? Now, grave, obviously, when you're referring to something serious, important, or having significant consequences. A grave is a location where a dead body is buried or interred after funeral. Graves are usually located in special areas set aside for the purpose of burial, such as graveyards or cemeteries. <laughs> now, people do not understand when it comes to graveyard. There are so many things we do not know. You know, people's lives have been tortured. People's lives have been, you know, destroyed people's lives have been hindered set back you know tormented because they don't know certain things about grave you shouldn't play with that word g grave god that spelled these words guarding graft greed grave God is not a blind God. He knew what he, he just the way he created you and I, he created these words that have got meaning <laughs> and created animals with meaning, created trees, vegetables, herbs with meanings. And you and I want to change them now, really? Please, not me. Not me. I'm sorry. Graveyard is not something you all should play with. Some of you go to the graveyard to eat, to drink, to sit, to chat. You're having a chat, tete a tete, poco a poco. You are chatting. Why? Why are you playing with a graveyard? The dead people are there in the cemeteries. Please, never you play with them. Don't play with this word. Respect graveyards. Respect them. You have to respect them. Never spit in or on the graveyard or in the cemetery. This will allow the dead to find you and they must get you. Never you point your finger. Now, these are my par paracetamols. Now, when it comes to grave, I'm giving you paracetamols now. So, you to end the show with me. Never you point your finger at a graveyard or corpse. As this might bring huge bad luck to you or hindrances. Number three, never close your eyes. When you are entering the graveyard or cemetery, anytime you enter the graveyard or cemetery, do not close your eyes. The ghost will see you. Why you might not see them? You are closing your eyes. You are entering the cemetery. Don't do that. They will see you. You will not see them. And this bring bring uh, uh, troubles to your life. Now, number four, never gossip the dead. Don't gossip the dead for anything bad or anyone or anybody in the graveyard. You're in a cemetery. Don't gossip the dead. Don't gossip anyone in the graveyard. Don't do that. This will allow the dead to gossip you to your last day on earth. And after you die, they still can gossip you. You did it. You gossip the dead. They will gossip you while you are alive. And after you're dead, they will gossip you. Because when they died, you, you gossip them. Am I communicating with someone, please? Good. Number five, never urinate. Never you urinate 
in a graveyard or cemetery. <laughs> this is very interesting. Because <laughs> I've talked about the power of urine. If you list watching our shows, please go watch our shows and listen to the power of urine and see how you can use your own urine for deliverance and healing. Never urinate in a graveyard or cemetery. Your soul, blood, <laughs> will be drunk. They will drink it. Will be drunk by the dead, and your soul will be tormented. And also, this or this can increase your nightmares. Some of you that have nightmares at night, you men don't know when you went to club. You coming out from club, you got drunk, you went and urinate in the in the cemetery, urinate in a graveyard, or urinate where someone was buried. I that's where you get in nightmares from. You went and you spat, you spat there. Aye, that's where you get a nightmare from. You went to graveyard. You probably were, you drank some some beer. You 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 had some um some char about 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 bad things. Aye aye aye, that's where your bad luck and setbacks are coming from. Before you now start dealing with your familiar spirit, before you now start dealing with the things you moving, you 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 meeting day and night, the people you're meeting, there are so many love things that, that comes into one's lives that makes people not to see true, that make people not to get what they're looking for. And they pray and pray, they start looking, start looking for men of God, looking for one to prophesy and, and all of that. Why? Because we've used our own hands to create these things for ourselves. There are the rules you shouldn't play with don't spit in the graveyard don't point your finger in the grave or in the corpse don't gossip them never you urinate in the cemetery and stuff like that keep these things and these things that i've written out um see we obviously will bring them all out so write them all out so you can obviously read and see for yourself memorize copy them download and keep for yourself if you stick to these things that i'm telling you that i'm teaching you today <laughs> you don't need no prayers your life will change now my last three g words are five letters each and five means grace five stands for faith i have talked about this before in our previous um, shows on um, benefit of three now remember three also stands for god Three in one God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. If you have faith and you take my words and teaching serious, your life must change for the best. As these words, they did not just come from me, but from heaven, from God. And only God give and grant whosoever he desires wisdom. Now, these four letter G words, guardian, graft, greed, and grave, you should never take them for granted. Not to be selfish to them, respect them with your own pure heart, honor them, speak to them, love them, and cherish them. Your life will never remain the same again, and always remember to speak the, the truth. You know, remember to speak the truth to your heart. You have to speak the truth to your heart first before airing out your voice out. Please speak the truth to yourself and you speak the truth out. Now my last words. Only the truth and love is or are your only way out to God. Some of you that are wanting to confess, do things and all that. Only the truth. That's your only way out to God. So confessions, it is you're true now that's why i said to people please get your pen your book write down jot down get every knowledge words teachings you can say for yourself and i believe someone will be blessed don't take this for granted this huge very huge you can imagine how long it took us to cover this episode it took us a long time a lot of preparation you know, and you will never miss out of it. We've covered um, the four letters, G's, you should always respect, never to dare them at all costs. Episode two, the episode one was gone, God, government, and the gods. And we talked about them. Now we're covering um, guarding, and we talked about, uh, we gave it different types of guarding, and then we talked about graft, we talked about greed, we talked about grave. Now, 
keep these things to yourself and apply them share the messages teach your people and you see for those uh, men of god that um says oh another man of god obviously cannot have a demonic spirit you can have a demonic spirit and this is why we'll go back to mark mm, the bible verse the bible verse um i want to, to show we'll go back to mark i'll show because i need to give a bible verse on this we talked about bible verse we'll go to mark 8 and then also when we talk about the garden when you guys do not understand when i said these um trees and um, herbs the humans you do not understand where i'm coming from so i need to i need you to go to the bible if you go to i think is in king james version mark 8 we will read from mark 8 we'll read from mark 8 and so we understand what jesus christ was teaching his disciples jesus christ literally um he healed um someone you know i only need you to know the power of your saliva because that, this jesus christ used the saliva and i also need you to understand that trees um they're humans they they do walk the walk and you need you to read your bible for you those of you that are christians you don't believe things like this please open to your king james version mark it mark it starts from verse 24 for me let me read from 24 please king james version mark 8 24 says and he looked up and said i see men as trees walking now who was that i start let me start from 21 from 21 and he said unto them how is it that ye do not understand this is jesus christ speaking and ye cometh to bethsaida and they bring a blind man unto him now when they came to bethsaida the disciples brought the blind man to jesus and besought him to touch him and he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town and when he had spit on his eyes you see when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands on him he asked him if he saw aught and 24 this is what he said on 24 now here and he looked up and said i see men as trees walking what is that men as trees working <laughs> 25 after that he put his hands again upon his head and made him look up and he was restored and saw every man clearly now let me stop you there i stop you there what happened there when jesus christ touched this man tried to heal this man jesus christ opened the spiritual eyes of this man <laughs> someone would say it was a mystic but then immediately jesus christ realized and like, hold on a minute mm -mm. and then he touched the man again and then then the physical eyes go restored back now that is to tell you when you have the spiritual eyes you will know that these herbs animals you see your dog you tell your dog sit down your dog sit you say sleep is sleep you say eat it eat you speak to your cat they do the same thing come on haven't you sat down and asked yourself what what your yeah, feelings what brains run through them you should know this these are humans now <laughs> The trees, you see? So that's what happened. Now, get read Mark 8, 24. You can read from 1, but you need to read 24 to 26. And, and just check for yourself. And then now, if you go further, and then it said, 
26, it said, And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. And 27, it says, And Jesus went out, and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Who do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, and others, one of the, one, one, one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answered and said unto him, Thou art thy Christ. Now, if you understand so well your Bible, you understand what I'm saying. Now, for some of you that know Peter very well, you know Peter he was a disciple. He was, um, he was obviously disciples of God. Now, for you, some of you that say other oh, pastors cannot condemn other pastors or Satan cannot be in other pastors or cannot use them, you you need to also understand this um this um verse now where Jesus where Jesus said to Peter that Peter was a Satan the Satan should get behind him. I think same Mark Mark um okay let's read from Mark 32 same Mark 8 from 32 Let's read from 32. And he spake that saying openly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Can you see now Jesus Christ rebuking Peter? Saying, get thee behind me, Satan. Now, why did Jesus um, um, accuse, uh, 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 address Peter? Let me use the word addressed uh, Peter, his own disciples, as a Satan. For thou severest not the things that be of God, but the things of that be of men. Please, my brother, this is when you realize that even your men of God can be controlled by Satan. So please never be carried away to speak truth, to speak light to your men of God. You go into that church, you, what you carry might even be greater than what that man of God carries. Take my word. Take my word, please. So, some of you, thank you guys for today. Some of you guys that have, um, his promo lovelies get on our Patreon. Thank you guys. You know, join our Patreon. Be a member. There are so many things on the Patreon you are missing out. You know, be a member on the Patreon. There's so many things. Benefit of herbs, spiritual healings, Bible verses, um, and portfolios. There's so many things on the Patreon. If you get on Patreon, type in Mr. Capish OJO and click um, a membership and join the subscription and then go on our SoundCloud, on our audio, download on our audio mark as well and then get on um, on our YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel, you know, hit the, the bell button and then also comment share and always remember to share and like comment send your messages your testimonies let them keep coming your um, confessions your, your your messages your donations please let them keep coming if you want to support us if you want to donate just go on our paper type mr capish ojo on our paper link you support you know, and we're trying to come on these shows every day. We've got up to 11 shows now. And so far, we've been able to cover um second, second episode. Now we're going on their third episode. So we needed to cover this second episode for this topic. It was huge. And I'm grateful because like I said before, it's not my power. It's not my mind. It's God. Because imagine we've sat here. We've been, you know, talking about these things. And here is how God obviously wants to want to take these messages to you guys who am i not to share them with you who am i not to give them to you out there so i'll always do what god wants me to do 
because in life no one knows tomorrow we all need each other in life we all need each other in life always remember that always remember that thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. remember god loves you i love you i always love you and i remember your humble mr capish ojo thank you k live our sponsors k live get on k live hit promo k live dot org please buy our merchandise our clothing line is there get on it get on the accessories get on k life services anything you want to book on k life get on your services book and the team will respond to you hit promo team thank you guys i love you guys always know i remain your humble one I always know i always love you i know god loves you more thank you and bye from us